guys, my name is Liz. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are gonna talk about my ultimate favorite meal of the day, breakfast. I can eat breakfast all day, every day. But I'm going to list my 10 favorite breakfast places on Oahu. Not in any particular order because they each serve something special. These breakfast places are usually very small and you need to wait a while to be seated if you want to dine in. Number one is Boots and Kimo's Home Style Kitchen. This is in Kailua, Hawaii, right across Target. They do not take reservations, so I would recommend you coming a little bit early because waits can be around one to two hours. Before COVID, this place used to be packed with tourists and there would be a long line. I do not come here as often as I'd like to because of their long lines and that they are always super busy. They are known for their delicious, soft, and fluffy macadamia pancake with their sweet, creamy sauce. Aside from this pancake, they serve other local food like ribs, fish, steaks, omelets, eggs benedicts, and of course, fried rice. Number two is Yogurt Story. This restaurant is bigger than the usual breakfast spot. It's located in Ala Moana and parking is sometimes hard to find. It's a cute place for little occasions. They have a long table for larger parties and I love coming here. I don't know if it's just me, but I love, love my pancakes. And of course, my favorite food to order in this restaurant is the pancakes. Guys, they have this ube pancake that is to die for. It is so, so good that I probably ate here more than 10 times already. Another thing that I love is their fried rice prime rib loco moco. The prime rib is so soft and paired well with their fried rice. If you don't know what loco moco is, it's basically rice with gravy and hamburger patty topped with over easy eggs. But instead of patty, they replace it with short ribs. Another delicious food on their menu is the crab cake benedict. And Red Velvet Waffles, ooh, and Kaloa Pig Loco Moco. Number three is Button Up Cafe. This is a cute little place in Pearl City. They are known for their creamy strawberry cheesecake filled French toast. Mmm, doesn't that sound so good? Yes, I love my sweets in the morning and this just hits the spot. And the presentation of the French toast is so pretty. It looks like a little cute little house that you just want to eat. They also have other flavors like Oreo, Nutella, and tiramisu. Another popular dish that they serve here is the braised short ribs benedict. People say it's excellent. Number four is basalt located in Waikiki. Somehow, it's in the middle of like a marketplace. Like you have to enter this store, market, like a grocery store area, and then you hit the restaurant. And of course, I come here for, yes, another pancake. And their pancake is the charcoal buttermilk pancake. It's so unique looking but I was really curious to try it. And it was surprisingly delicious. The guava strawberry sauce they drizzled on top with the whipped cream really complemented the charcoal pancake. They have about six items in their breakfast menu, but they also have an all-day menu that you can choose from. You can also come here for happy hour and dinner. And they have a charcoal bread, which is not that bad either. Number five is the Original Pancake House. It's called the Original Pancake House for a reason. 
because it has been around for such a long time. They have two locations on Oahu. My uncle used to work here and guess what he would bring me all the time? Yes, pancakes. And their Dutch baby pancake is my favorite and it is what I come here for. People may not appreciate the ambiance of this place because it's more of an older place. But I also love these older restaurants because they've been there for such a long time and they have good food and older people tend to have more patience, right? People like the 49er Flapjacks pancake, so I'm gonna have to try that the next time I go here. They have a simple breakfast menu with lots of pancake options. Number six is Scratch Kitchen. Scratch Kitchen is located in Honolulu and you can make a reservation on Open Table. They have a brunch menu with a long list of items to choose from. From small plates to pancakes. And the pancake that they have is the milk and cereal pancake. But what I love the most from them is the Haupia Cream Brulee French Toast. If you don't know what Haupia is, it is coconut. And this is a must try. It's crunchy on the outside and super fluffy on the inside. It was the perfect texture. And yes, another Lokomoko here. <laughs> They are more on the healthier side of breakfast, like salads, lots of vegetables, which I need to eat more of. I, I am working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Number seven is the Nook Neighborhood Bistro. This is a cute little breakfast place where they serve Lilikoi cheesecake pancakes. The pancake was topped with light and creamy sauce with a hint of Lilikoi. They also have an awesome breakfast risotto topped with two poached eggs. There are lots of choices on the menu that are not too heavy. The only downside is that you might miss this place because it's so hidden and parking may be difficult because other businesses uses the same parking lot. Otherwise, this is a great place for breakfast. Number eight is Cafe Kaila. This restaurant is located in Market City and they have different types of waffles. If you like waffles, this is the place to go to. They have Oreos, Lilikoi, coffee, all types of different flavors. They also have other amazing food on their menu like Lokomoko, breakfast quesadilla, breakfast burrito, and egg benedicts. Number 9 is Coco Head Cafe. This is a small little place in Coco Head and they have very little menu but everything we ordered from this place was delicious. They called my loco moco a coco moco. It had Maui made beef patty with mushroom gravy and traditional sunny side up and a tempura kimchi on the side. And look what they have, dumplings all day long. That is too funny. The pancake that I ordered was called Hawaiian style and it had a bunch of fruits on top. The tanginess and the sweetness flavor blended well together. They are famous for their cornflake French toast which was drizzled with creamy black pepper maple and topped with frosted flake gelato. And number 10 is Y Oli Kitchen and Bake Shop. What I love most about this place is its beautiful location. It's basically an open breakfast area where you're surrounded by nature. Glass windows, lots of seatings, and ample parkings. They have a simple breakfast menu. I ordered my favorites, which was the short rib loco moco and their banana nut pancakes and definitely did not disappoint. And the pancakes are huge. They also have a mochi waffle on their menu once in a while, 
with a lilikoi sauce on the side. They are awesome. I'm gonna add one more guys because I really really like this place and I don't want to leave it out. It is a very small place in Manoa called Morning Glass and Cafe. Very tight parking and very tight space. But if you can just order their watermelon drink and their breakfast burrito, you're good to go. Alright guys, that is it for now. These places are open for dine-in and takeouts. But for deliveries, you just gotta check on their website or Yelp. Let me know if you try these restaurants or if you want me to try other restaurants. And make sure to subscribe for more restaurant reviews, food, simple recipes, and anything related to food. Thanks for watching and stay safe and hungry. Bye guys!